Domestic violence charges are one of the most common offenses that we handle in our firm, mainly because it's one of the most commonly charged offenses in the state of Ohio. We have very likely handled in the thousands of domestic violence cases over the years. When someone hires me, they're asking me to take on their problems, and I take that really seriously. When domestic violence cases come to our firm, they come from people from all walks of life. Whether it's a married couple, whether they're partners, sometimes they're just roommates, boyfriend, girlfriends, an array of different types of a relationship. The key is, is that they're household members and that they live with each other. I've been through the criminal justice system hundreds, thousands of times with thousands of cases, but these people have never encountered this ever before. They need to understand what they're facing and understand how we're gonna get them through this. As a defense attorney, my job is to protect people's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And whether somebody did or didn't do some crime, that doesn't matter. They're still people. If it also includes me trying to be there as a friend or a family member, I go that extra mile. What constitutes success in a particular case depends in large part on what other factors are present in a particular client's life. We want to get them the most favorable outcome. Is this person a student who stands to potentially be kicked out of school? Is this person a licensed professional who stands to have their career put in jeopardy due to the allegations brought against them? When you're dealing with OVIs or a criminal and domestic violence case, clearly those are two separate cases that the attention to detail on both are going to be a little different. Whereas on a domestic violence criminal case, 911 calls or talking to witnesses, so you're dealing with a different kind of evidence. When the police are called out to these scenes in these scenarios, it's by statute that they are to separate the witnesses and determine a primary aggressor. Oftentimes when the police arrive at these scenes, I mean, the emotions are extremely high, and there's external factors that cause alleged victims to make statements that aren't entirely true. After someone's arrested, they wake up the next day, there's buyer's remorse. The alleged victims then start to try to fix the situation. Their cries for help and their cries to help fix the situation are not gonna fix the situation. That's where getting an attorney involved can help significantly. In many cases, we have the alleged victim contacting our office saying that they want us to represent the person that they are the alleged victim of. And what I'm quick to inform alleged victims and defendants is that even if they want the case dropped, even if they tell the prosecutor they want the case dropped, the state is going to pursue the case. The domestic violence charge is not the alleged victim's charge. It's the state of Ohio's charge, and they're gonna do what they think is in the victim's best interest. That means that they're gonna pursue this charge with or without the consent of the alleged victim. We know these courthouses, we know these judges, we know these prosecutors, we know what they like to see, we know what they don't like to see. The criminal justice system isn't always fair, but no matter what your situation, know that we have your back.